Hi everyone, welcome back to F1 2017. We're off to round three in Bahrain, where I qualified 11th uh, for the actual uh, session Hi, itself. Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. Okay. Finished ninth, beat Perez, who is now my new rival, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> and continue on. Now, I went for an upgrade last time round, which, as you can see in the upgrade chart, moves us ahead of Williams. Ha 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 ha. Uh, although look at how much closer McLaren is now to catching with the rest of us. I wonder if that will continue on uh, as we go on. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, we're still a way off uh, Sahara Force India. Uh, and the other thing I'd notice is that because we're running short races, look at how quickly everything gets knackered. So the internal combustion engine is already on 52%. Uh, my MGUH is on 50%. Um, that's going to cause me problems during this race, I think, personally. So uh, let's see how we get on. Ba -ba 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 -bum, ba -bum -bum -bum. I'm not confident. I I can't do the, that double left-hander in Bahrain. <laughs> never have, never will. This is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Bottas, Max Verstappen, and Ricardo, Perez, Grosjean, Ocon, and Carlos Sainz. A Renault, Hülkenberg, Fernando Alonso, and Massa, Kvyat, Van Dorn, Kevin Magnussen, and Lance Stroll, Verlein, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. Ooh. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. <clears throat> so no grid penalties for the first time this year. Damn it. Hello, where we should be on the grid. We want you to go in aggressive, take a few positions off the start. Remember, be aware and keep safe. Hmm. So I feel like an alternative strategy could work out quite nicely here for us. Uh, it is 14 laps, so I'm quite happy to add a couple of extra stuff. Let's edit this round so that we start on the softs and go to 9, and then switch to the super softs and do the 5. And I'm aware that it's making out that that's going to be... Oh, it seems to think that that works better. I don't think it will, you know. Oh, okay, for that. Or maybe that. Let's do with that. And we can always go a lap later if we need to. Um, and I've pumped it up full of fuel. Um, so that I can do some Max 3 early on again. Uh, <clears throat> to keep up whilst our tyres aren't so great. But not too much because I don't want to drown. Or do I? Yeah, let's do quite a bit more. And then we can cane it. Oh, we're the only one doing this. <laughs> okay, our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tyres and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. Okay, Jeffers. <clears throat> so, I was super pleased with how China turned out, complete with broken front, well, damaged front wing. I didn't think we'd keep the podium. That was a great race <clears throat> uh, to be part of. Some cheeky AI, some cheeky moves from me, um, but it kept it entertaining. I expect similar here, to be honest. Especially as where I'm going for an alternate strategy, I'm clearly, I'm saying to myself, this isn't going to work for the win. I just have to hope and pray that a safety car doesn't pop out early on. Because on an alternate strategy like this, it does bollocks you up a bit. <laughs> um, and I really don't want to go to the medium tyres. I 
Well, no, if the if it, if the safety car comes out like lap two or whatever, I, I wonder if any AI would hit. just would not care. It's the perils of doing a 25% race distance. AI conditions. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch Ooh. for the lights. Wish me luck. to be a bit squirrely. Hamilton out front again. As this game loves to do. Engine is looking a little worn. Power output will be less than optimal. And that is exactly why I've gone for the mix three to try and compensate for that. Okay, let's go, go, go. as we've not kept up with the leaders. This is a 25% race distance. I hate that corner. Um, Paris is going to have us. Uh, this wasn't the battle I wanted. <laughs> What I was hoping is that because it's just a 25% race distance, carrying that extra fuel and being able to burn it is comparatively less of an issue here. Because it's a less of a race distance, therefore you're not having to fuel up nearly as much. That's what I'm thinking anyway. We're going to be mugged on DRS. Fuel is just
Ooh, we're caning the tyres. That's Perez having a go. Get out of it. We'll have DRS anyway. So the gap to our teammate is 4.9 seconds. To go down the outside. Ooh, Ocon's got round Ricardo. In all of that. train behind us. I don't feel like we're terribly off the pace. says this no no when you to okay, give up get behind is 2.8 seconds damn it Because it was so easy to just replace stuff before it got broke beforehand last year in the first season, I'm interested to see all of the different dramas and problems that we run into actually. <laughs> Nico 
is in the pits. Considering switching to an alternate strategy, do you want to change or stick to plan A? Keep current. Got that, confirmed. Otherwise we are going to burn out our super softs. <clears throat> Trust my driving in that tire wear. <laughs> so that should be our con in some ways. That's the stuff from Bottas coming out. Our gap behind is 3.7 seconds. for any kind of championship at the moment. When did I speed in that pit? That was bizarre. John and Ricardo, he's having an awful time. Right. Let's mix three this whilst we can.
Ocon's definitely ours. I think. Don't know about Perez though, I think we might be too far up the road. Let's see. Explosion's got around signs. Which could well be problematical because if Danny Rick is going to charge through the pair of them. completely in trouble. That was naughty. Felt like a good idea until I've done it. <laughs> There's five laps of fuel remaining. Mm -hmm. Driver in front. Perez ahead. The gap to the car ahead is 6.7 seconds. You're closing in by 7 tenths per lap. They're on old softs. The time last lap was a 1 minute 34.0. It's not far behind. Verstappen.
This has not worked out at all. They conked out, or is it just is limping over the line? make yourself known <laughs> oh dear brilliant stuff from Mercedes Boy. today that's another historic win okay, a bit pacey Anthony, there, what do you think made the difference here well I'd, I'd say it's just raw pace plain and simple I mean we Agreed. could sit here and talk about strategy all day the overtaking looking after the tyres but at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed over everyone else. And that's exactly what they had today. I love that helmet. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? <laughs> it's a difficult one, but I'll have to go for the Renault driver. Yay! They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. Onto sure? the constructors <laughs> then. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. I tell you what though, that's the third race in a row, if that's true, out of three that Vettel has had a mechanical failure in this season so far. So uh, it sucks to be you, Seb, at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> Bottas got ahead of Raikkonen, so Ferrari's both lost one. Mercedes both gained one. <clears throat> 
Verstappen all on his own. Perez outfoxed us by quite a way if you look at the actual timing. I just did not get those uh, super soft tyres switched on at all. Uh, and my car is a bit knackered as well. Uh, Grosjean and Ricardo got the final points. So signs being double duped out of it. Then it was Massa, Hulkenberg, who was right at the back of that little gaggle. Uh, then Magnussen, Stroll improving some places, that's good. Kvyat less so, Van Dorn less so. Ooh, Alonso had a torrid time. Finishing behind his teammate, what's going on there? Uh, and Verlein beating home Ericsson. And absolutely nothing to report. Huh. So we stay fifth in the title. Vettel there jumps into the uh, title battle there in sixth with his first points of the year. 14 drivers of the 20 have scored. Murder Williams, yep. Yeah. This is all parodying the 2018 season. Ferrari there leap ahead of Red Bull thanks to that second and fourth. Uh, we lose out to Force India there, but we didn't quite over have them before, but we've just lost out in terms of point haul. McLaren still seven. Nicely done. So, Using the rivalry. Everyone loves us, especially Sauber and Williams at the moment. Now, do we want to do anything with our <coughs> R&D points? Uh, I'm thinking in terms of reliability, because we've killed this car off in the space of three rounds. <coughs> We are really struggling in terms of performance, so maybe we shouldn't go too nuts. Uh, oh crikey, yeah we are right down at the very bottom there in the powertrain. Right. For me then, let's focus on a bit of the powertrain. So, the first thing we'll do is give the upgrade so that it, the things actually work. <laughs> uh, the next upgrade we'll do is in terms of the actual points, then we'll get going on that, I think. Because we are essentially in a battle for the best of the rest. So, you guys will take care, and I'll catch you next time here in High Plane Games. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.